Hello, my name is Melissa and welcome to the Engineering Pro Life Sciences News Roundup. Here are our top stories. The world's first complete eye transplant was performed on a US veteran in New York. Aaron James lost most of his face back in 2021 when he accidentally touched a 7,200 volt live wire. Back in May of this year, he underwent a 21 hour surgery where he had a rare partial face transplant in addition to an eye transplant. Surgeons at NYU Langone Health who performed the surgery say he is recovering well and although it isn't guaranteed, they aren't ruling out the possibility that Mr. James may regain his sight. Researchers at the Mount Sinai Centre for Transformative Disease Modelling have released a groundbreaking study around cancer prognosis. After analysing more than 10,000 patient samples, the team identified over 4,000 key gene clusters that significantly influenced the progression of 32 different cancers. The research is said to be a comprehensive resource and foundation for the development of next generational cancer treatments and diagnostic markers. Nova Nordisk invests $6 billion into an expansion to meet demands for diabetes and obesity medication. The facility located in Kalundborg, Denmark, will see the investment go towards increasing the capacity of active pharmaceutical ingredients such as semaglutide, using Ozempec and Wegovy. The project will create 800 jobs and construction will be finalised from the end of 2025 through to 2029. The NHS are advising that all children in the UK should be given a chickenpox vaccination at 12 and 18 months of age. It will be up to the government to decide on whether to include this vaccination to the list of routine protective jabs offered to all UK children for free. Due to restrictions on socialising during the COVID pandemic, there is a larger pool of children than usual who are at risk of catching the highly contagious virus, which can be more severe if you catch it for the first time as a teenager or an adult. A groundbreaking new implant that stimulates nerves in the spine has allowed Parkinson's sufferer Marc Gafou, 63 from Bordeaux, France, a second chance in life. Parkinson's disease is a progressive condition that worsens over time and a common symptom is involuntary shaking and slow movements. The stimulator sits on the lumbar region of the spinal cord and adds electrical signals to the nerves, allowing leg muscles to move more smoothly. This technology has enabled Mark to walk for miles when previously he was often housebound. Parkinson's UK research director, David Dexter, has said this could be a game-changing technology, but it is quite invasive and research is still very early. And finally, a study suggests that artificial intelligence is nearly twice as good at grading the aggressiveness of the rare form of cancer, retroperitoneal sarcoma, from scans than the current method. Researchers from the Royal Marsden Hospital and Institute of Cancer Research say it could improve treatment and benefit thousands every year. Dr. Paul Huang from the Institute of Cancer Research London said this kind of technology has the potential to transform the lives of people with sarcoma, enabling personalised treatment plans tailored to the specific biology of their cancer. And that's all we've got time for today. Don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn at NES Furcroft for your daily dose of engineering news, career advice and job vacancies. See you next time for our engineering news roundup.